I remember Ekaterinburg when I was a girl. There was a shopping mall project abandoned in the crisis. State healthcare guaranteed nothing after the cuts, so people had to look after themselves. I remember the protests. The dump in the hole was cleaned at least, with the synthetic microbes from abroad. Private companies closed the health gap. They offered children all-purpose vaccinations based on their genes. Tattoo health trackers became so popular that a data center was planned to process the tons of medical data. With government involvement, it became possible. Healthcare had become a data science. Shops appeared with personalized medicine, food, and other fashionable life design. Health innovation flowered as new education broke down barriers between biologists, medics, and entrepreneurs. Then we could all buy the new food medicines. Large-scale labs were needed to turn data insights into consumer medical products. Russia was beating back chronic disease, but also preparing for the post-oil future. They called it the era of augmented biology. Transgenic plants grew molecules ranging from medicines to plastics. Exotic synthetic flora regenerated neighborhoods where the air became sweet and fresh. I used living makeup to fight my depression. The Babylon Health Mall was designed to unite analysis, production and retail under a single roof. I always checked my tattoo for recommendations before going shopping, but often I just visited the mall just for fun. The enhanced games were held there, and prosthetics were all the rage that year. The mall was a retail wonderland. In the functional forest, you could pick products from the trees. There was a shop for prosthetic enhancements, a shop for bioprinted organ implants and skin grafts. My favorite was the restaurant of living food. You chose cocktails from a microbe list, and that was an elite place. Harvesting substances on transgenic animals became big business. I harvested at home, but more experimental DNA was grown behind closed doors. Later, there was an agency for human harvesting. I joined once when I had no money. You drank a cocktail to stimulate body growths like rare oils and moles and sold them to the agency. Thankfully, those days are over. The mall is still under construction, but you won't see any builders there today. Nowadays, biologists engineer living materials and the buildings grow on their own. But I hope you will excuse me. I must rush off now with my brain graft.